Hey there, I'm Source Mick and welcome to the tutorial on IBM Watson's Tone Analyzer. So in this video, we are going to set up a Tone Analyzer project on IBM's website and then we're going to create some Node.js code to actually go through an example of analyzing some text using that Tone Analyzer. Now I've got all the resources that we need for this topic on my website. Go ahead and click the link below this video if you need to get to the webpage. You probably will. so. Go ahead and do that. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. Thanks. So IBM Bluemix is basically IBM's cloud hosting service, the same way Amazon has AWS and Microsoft has Azure. You have your code and you put it on their server. That's how it works. And IBM Watson, if you don't know, is a famous AI, artificial intelligence, that won on Jeopardy a few years ago. So Watson has a few services that is allowed to be used by developers. IBM has it offered to developers and one of them is chatbots, which is really cool. We'll be doing a video on that in the future. But right now we need to get started just wet our feet a little with the tone analyzer service. So this service actually just takes a piece of text and it analyzes the tone of it. So is the text happy? Is it sad? It, it figures that out for us. And that's kind of a cool resource, which is why we're going to use it. But it's actually really simple, surprisingly. So to get started, what we need to do is we need to register an IBM Plumix account. Go ahead and click this link to make an account if you haven't already. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just going to hit the login button. But if you don't, you know, register. You don't need a credit card or anything like that, so it's really simple. Now, I'm going to bring this over to my other monitor to sign in because... Chrome would auto-complete some stuff and you'd see some really interesting stuff. So email, I'm going to hit continue. And the password, you can see my email, that's fine. But OK, so password, I'm just signing in right now just so you see. You get to some page, which doesn't really matter. We're going to close it. What you need to do is once you sign in, Chrome has my login credentials cached. And you need to go to this tone analyzer page. So this is just the service page for the Tone Analyzer. And what we want to do is we want to get started free. Now, I'm already logged in. You saw that I just logged in. So we have this new project that's created. You want to change this project name, which once again, I'm going to do on the other monitor. And the project name is going to be Source Make Tones. That's the only thing that we did. We're going to make sure that this is light, which means that it's the free plan. And we're going to click Create Project, which is great. So this creates the project for us. And to be honest, the Tone Analyzer project is really, really basic. If you have to do a chatbot or something, you have to do a lot more work. But all this does is create a set of credentials for us that you see right here that we're going to be using to make an API call. So the Tone Analyzer really is just an API call. You pass it some text, and Watson spits back the response. And we're going to hit the Show button. We're going to need this username and password later. So it's OK if you see it. I'll delete it. I'll, I'll delete the service later, so it doesn't matter. But I'm going to move this to my other monitor. And what I'm going to do right now is I've got my Ubuntu 16 virtual machine running. I'm going to actually, I created the terminal too early. I'm going to create a folder called Tone. And this is going to be our project folder. We're going to make the node project in here to actually test out the Tone Analyzer service. And OK, perfect. So again, we've got this Tone Analyzer project that we created on IBM's website. And it gave us a username and password. We're going to be using this to make API calls to Watson's Tone Analyzer service. And we're making a Node.js project that will actually make those API calls for us. So I've got the website open again, as usual, because it's got all the stuff that we need. We need to npm init to start a basic Node project. You know, it's, it's, it's just a starter project. I like to start from scratch. The name can be source make tones. The version can be one point. Which, OK, no, 1.0.0. We don't need a description. The entry point will be index.js. And the rest of the stuff, will just press Enter. So the next thing we need to do is actually create this index.js by saying touch index.js. And we are also going to make a config.js file for our user credentials. That's just good practice. So let's copy this code right here for the config file. and. Enter it, paste it right in here. So we've got a username and password for our credentials. And if you come back to this page, you'll see that we have a username and password that we showed. And that's what we care about. So this username and this password is going to go in our config file. That's our IBM Watson Tone Analyzer credentials. That's going to let us use the API. So username I copied over. 
password I copied over and we are good to go. I'm saving that and closing this so our config is set up. Now, what we need to do is Watson actually made it easy for us. He's a really famous guy. He has his own node library. So we're just going to npm install it into our project, make things a little easier for us. And again, as I keep saying this, but this is an API service. So we could actually just use curl or make Postman calls, but it's better to actually make the program for it, the node program, because that's like the proper way to do things. Now we have our library install, Watson Developer Cloud is the name of the Watson's library. And I've got the code for index.js right here. This is going to be all the code that handles our project of testing the service. So I'm going to paste it in and then we're going to go through the lines. First line, just require the library that we installed, the Watson library. We're going to require our config file. We have some text here as a string that we are going to analyze. I'll go over this when we do it. And we turn that text into JSON because we've got this params thing here and it's the content type we're passing it is application slash JSON. So the tone input is also going to be JSON. We just want JSON. So we're saying that the text is this text. And the next thing that we do is we create the tone analyzer service by giving it our username and our password just to authenticate, you know. And after we do that, then we actually use a tone analyzer service. If there's an error, output error. But if there's not an error, then we get the response from Watson back as a string. And we'll see how that works. And, and then we just output it. So I'll, sh I'll show you how this works. It's really basic code. This is like an example of there. So actually, if you scroll up a little, you'll see that notice the API reference on IBM's website. And at the bottom of this page, I've got references to everything. So if you feel confused or wonder where I got this from, I got it right from there. So that was our code. And how do we test this? Just node index.js. And that will run our project. So let's see what the output is. So again, Watson Tone Analyzer just takes some text and it analyzes the, for the tone of the text. And what I have here, the text that we used in particular was from the Great Gatsby, actually, we're very fancy. So the first two sentences of the Great Gatsby are, in my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. That's actually really great advice. I love that sentence. That's a great quote. So IBM Watson analyzed that and it returned this JSON to us. And this JSON says that the overall document's tone is, it's got a few tones to it. The first one is sadness. There's a 53% sadness inside of the passage. There's also 78% tentative and 61% analytical. So Watson analyzed this and that's what the tone of the passage was. But he also analyzed it sentence by sentence. You can see this first sentence is 58% sadness and the second sentence is 68% analytical. And, you know, it's really cool that each of these are just, just have one tone to them. But when Watson overall analyzed the overall thing, it also decided that it was tentative. So Watson's really cool like that. And as you see, we just had like one really simple string that was right here in our example, but you can change it to whatever you want. If you want to play around, make up your own text, then go ahead and see what Watson says the tone is. Now, that's really it. That's that's Watson's Tone Analyzer. It's a really simple API call, again, just to reiterate. Watson Tone Analyzer is a Watson service. What did we do? What we did was we made a Bluemix account so that we could use Watson's website to handle all these services. It was free, no credit card, nothing. Just register names, uh, country, and password, and email address. What we did then was we decided this was the service that we wanted. We got started with it. and. We created the project for it. In this case, it was really simple. We just got a username and password that allowed us to authenticate our API calls. We then created a node project, really basic from scratch. We installed Watson's developer library, and we also had a config.js with our user credentials. And we just had some basic node code that would analyze some text for us using, using Watson's API reference, which was really helpful. Again, there are links to references are down here. So that's it. You know Watson. That is all that you need to know. The tone analyzer is really basic, but it's, as I said, it's a great building block to get started with. So now you know how to use Watson services. And in the future, we are going to make a chatbot and some other cool stuff. So again, hit the subscribe button so you keep up with this stuff because this is really cool programming. I'm Swiss Make. Thanks for watching.